Hi guys, this is Tracy. Today I'm going to show you how to ungroup and arrange the elements for this week's free Happy Thoughts SVG. This week's design is another one that is very simple that you can make with HTV. Uh, you could use adhesive vinyl. If you wanted to make it into a sticker, you could do that. I'll show you how, um, at the end of the video how you can make this into a sticker. But for right now, I'm just going to show you. Go ahead and we're going to ungroup this. If you look over on the layers panel, you can see that the uh, rainbow colors, you can change those to any colors that you like. So those are all individual there. You can ungroup those and change them to di different colors if you like. Same thing with the words. If you wanted to make um, any of the words like white, or if you wanted to change it all to individual different colors like blue, red, green, yellow, whatever makes you happy, you could do that. Same with this down here. But for the demonstration right now, I'm just going to go ahead and show you that all the black letters right here, we're going to go ahead and hit attach. And then those would all cut together. If you haven't seen um, my previous videos where I show you how to use the attach feature, let me go ahead and detach this and I will show you what I mean by attaching. If I did not attach um, all the pieces in that design, these are all going to cut individually and then you would have to place them individually, which would be fine if you wanted to cut them in all different colors. But if you're going to do it all the same color, you might as well go ahead and attach them. So now going back and hitting your attach button. Now when you go to make it, it's all going to cut exactly where it needs to be for this design. And you'll be able to lay it just like that on top of all your colors. Now to be honest, if I was making this design, I probably, if I was going to go ahead and put this on a shirt or whatever I was going to put it on, I probably would cut these individually. And the only reason I would cut them individually is for the simple fact that all of my rainbow colors are separate. And it's going to be a lot easier if I were to put this line right here and then this line, all of them on the rainbow, and then assemble it all together. That's just my personal preference, but you can do whatever you're comfortable with. However um, your style is of crafting, you feel free to go ahead and do that. Remember, like I always say, the colors that you see on your screen are just for visual purposes. The color of your design will actually be whatever color vinyl that you use. So unless you're going to print, if you're going to print it, then whatever you see on your screen, that will be the color that you use. And speaking of printing, let me go ahead and group this together and I'm going to show you how you can make a sticker with this. Now just by leaving the colors that they are right here, let me leave this bigger so you can see it here. Come up to your offset, which is right here, and Cricut's automatically going to add an offset to it. And this size actually looks pretty good for me. This is just what automatically came up. It's 0 0.25. So I'm going to hit apply. And then I'm going to come down here down to my contour button. And I want to hide all these extra little pieces. So I'm going to do hide all contours and then come back here and I'm going to change this to white. Now that can be again any color that you like. I'm going to go ahead and grab both of them align and I want to center it so it's completely in the center of the design. Okay, And then you would come down here and you would hit flatten. Now it looks like your outline is gone but it is still there and I will show you by bringing in a shape here just to put behind it so you can see that the white is still there. Now obviously you would make this a lot smaller if you were going to have this as a sticker and then you could you know put several of them on one page if you wanted to, but let's go ahead and change some colors on here. So we would unflatten this. Let me take that back part off of there. I'm going to go ahead and delete that. Now let's say we wanted to go through here and change the colors on this. Let's ungroup this. Same with the black here. Make sure it's not attached. And let's say I want to make the wording. Let's change that to white. And I can be able to see it here so let me actually let's do this. Let's change the whole canvas color. Maybe if it's going to let us here. You actually can change your canvas. Oh here we go. We got to go up here. Let's change that to gray. Okay so let's group this. I don't know, whatever colors make you happy. Let's just go through and let me make like a lighter color here. It's one of those things that I could probably go through and sit here for hours playing with all these different colors. 
and let's do something like that. Okay, and let's let's go through and change these to white also. Let me just grab all of these here. Here and white. Okay, now let's go ahead and group this. And let's do the same thing we did before. Let's do an offset. Let's actually make this one a little bit bigger. All right, grab that black. Come down to your contour button here. Let me turn this back to a basic cut to be able to use the contour feature here. Okay. And then whatever color you want to make it, go ahead and center that. Yeah, I think actually that looks might be too big for my liking. Let's just make it just a little bit smaller. And for mental health awareness, the color is actually the color that represents mental health awareness is green. So that's why I put a green back here. But we can change that color. Let's come down here. Again, like I said, I can sit here and play for hours. But get it to the way that you like it. Go ahead and make sure it's aligned. And then hit your flatten button. And now you have another sticker. All right. So that's just something extra that you can do with this week's project, guys. I hope you like it. You can find it in the freebie library. It is design number 140. And on the blog, I actually have the um, fonts that I used in the design. Like always, you can find the font names and the links directly on the blog. If you guys have any questions, drop them in the comments. Um, I would love to see your projects if you make them. Come on over to the Facebook group and show them off. You know I love seeing what you guys make. Hope you like this week's project, guys. Thanks for being here. I appreciate you.